Hello again. Here's another Robin. This one's in DG instead of the GC1. Uh, we now have um, a viola string. It's a viola C string, which gives you an octave down from your standard Bourbon A pitch. So there's a low D. Quite a nice beefy sound. And so this is where your your traditional D chantrel, D second chantrel would be. And because it's it's a heavier string, it does give you a kind of a smoother sound. Okay, and the octave up. Now this one is the same pitch as your normal Bourbonnet second chantrel would be. Um, means which means that by the time you go up to the very high end things start to get a bit hairy when you're right at the top of a standard uh, scale length here you've got the octave no problem it's a bit of an extra length between the bridge and the tangent on that high octave and you can still keep going up to high G. Got the sliding tan, uh, sliding capos on again. So let's put the pretty, bo uh, pretty board on. Because it's a longer scale length, I can get away with using a gut string, a heavy gut string for the uh, pretty board on. Which again gives a nice smooth sound and it, it works with the capo nicely. So that's all the way up to G. Same with the trumpet. Uh, I've done away with the magnets, I found them not quite perfectly accurate, um, just do it by ear, it's fine. This particular one, again, has got a, a low D here. And a G. It's got a lot going for it. I quite like it. Um, admittedly, I can't think of any tunes that I play in the French repertoire that would need to go up all the way here. Uh, but then Hurdy Gurdy is much more than an instrument that just plays the French repertoire and I'm sure there's lots of scope for invention and uh, experimentation up in the high end. So. not to like. So this is a Robin and it's in DG and I rather like it. Thank you very much.